How's it going everyone? Vlad here with SolusPLC.com and in today's PLC programming episode we are going to talk about OTL and OTU instructions or more commonly known as the latch and unlatch and we're going to talk about the issues that this may cause in your PLC programs and the reason why you want to stick to the OTE or output energize instruction instead of pairing these two. Without any further delay, let's get started. So I do have a very basic rung setup in front of you and the reason for that is because I want to illustrate a very important concept. You have to think of these conditions as being a lot more complex. So again, this could be a start button, this could be a condition from the HMI, the stop could be a faulted state, this could be a stop, an e-stop. So don't think of this as a single instruction but what I want to show you is that if I insert a rung at different locations of this logic. And if I monitor this motor state running, so I'm going to create an XIC instruction in both locations, the values are going to be different depending on the states of this motor running and motor stopped condition. So here I'm just going to use some test booleans to illustrate that principle. So test boolean 0. And then the other one we can insert test boolean 1. So all we're really doing is looking at the state of this specific bit in our program. So I'm going to compile this. And obviously, since right now we're not latching, we're not unlatching, both of the bits are going to be negative or de-energized. If I toggle this instruction once again by right clicking and selecting toggle bit, you'll notice that in both cases, boolean 0 and boolean 1 are being energized. The reason for that of course is because we are energizing this bit at the top, we're not de-energizing, we're not unlatching this bit and therefore it's testing as we would expect. Now the problem arises if the stop condition is also true, so I'm going to right click this and I'm going to toggle this as well and what you'll notice is that in rung 1 my test boolean 0 is still energized despite me seeing that motor state running is de-energized and here at the very end it is de-energized. Now why is this happening? Let's examine the logic first and foremost and so the first thing that we need to realize is that a PLC is a sequential uh, reads logic in a sequential manner. So rung 0 is being executed we are latching this motor state running so it is high as of rung 0. As of rung 1 it's also high it is currently 1. So once we're testing this XIC, it is setting this test boolean 0. Next, we are giving this a stop condition. So we're de-energizing motor state running. And therefore, in rung 3, it's not setting this test boolean 1. Now, the problem here is that because it's written in such a way, if I go down here and now I want to use test boolean 0, it's going to be energized. So the problem that this creates is that it becomes extremely convoluted in the way logic is created and it becomes extremely difficult to troubleshoot for someone who cannot follow what's going on in this code not only because it's not a visual but also because you're looking at this and this seems to be de-energized it's energizing a different bit and then at the bottom here a bit that should be de-energized because the motor is really not running it's being unlatched it's still being energized to test boolean 2. Now, this is the a very common problem with these latches on latches. What I always recommend is, first of all, never to check logic. If you absolutely must use latch and unlatch, never to test your logic in between the two states. What I mean by that is that this rung should always be right next to this latch. And I would usually explicitly mention this. So this is going to be motor state running latch unlatch in the comments so i would put this in the comments i would also usually put some kind of a line so that it makes it easy to recognize i'm just going to compile this these rungs and so this would be a segment here at the very bottom once it's done i'm also going to insert the same line and what that tells me as a visual is that i can technically write any kind of logic in between but it needs to be contained within that same box and I'm typically not going to test between those two rungs. Now, once again, in order to avoid this practice, what you should be doing is instead of creating these two rungs, so I'm going to just delete them, I'm going to add a new rung and this is going to be, to be motor running condition and here I'm going to use an XIO for the motor stopped condition. So motor stopped 
condition and motor running is going to be on OTE because an OTE will take care of both states and it's not going to allow you to flip-flop the logic as you've seen here. So if I compile this, as you can see, if there's no stop condition, then the motor is definitely running. If there is no running condition, then the motor is going to be stopped. And there's really no way for you to insert the logic as I've shown you in between those two rungs. Therefore, not confuse someone who's going to be troubleshooting this program, who's going to be making additions. And there's a lot more complexity to this. As I've mentioned, as you start passing tags along to other routines, it becomes even more challenging to troubleshoot and cross-reference those bits in order to figure out what's going on. So definitely avoid the latch and unlatch instructions if you can and if you absolutely must use them then make sure that you leave a comment in your plc program saying that that's what you're doing now the last thing i want to mention is that with latches and unlatches you can use them in multiple locations and that's again something i would never recommend so if you do use latch and unlatch as i've said multiple times so if you use latch then you have another line rung that unlatches Put all of your logic under the unlatch bit that is currently in this rung. Don't start creating, for example, three rungs below. There's going to be another rung with unlatch. Then somebody else is going to come in at a rung in the middle here that's going to, for example, latch. This becomes extremely, extremely complex to troubleshoot. In any case, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you next time.